course the materials will be downloaded from your SANS portal account. In the email, there's a link to get you directly to that login page. We click the link, we arrive at the SANS um, account dashboard in your portal. You may have to go through the login step of putting your username and password in. I skipped that step because I was already signed in at the time I clicked the link. Underneath my online training, you'll see a link named Course Materials Downloads. That's what we'll start by clicking that link. Then you'll see this section for your particular class. There are three sections of files here, three different categories of files. Media files, course handouts, course books. Media files are by far the largest. And you can see that there are two ISO files here, here and here, 25.9 gigs and 40.4 gigs. Those will, those will take some time to download and some time to extract and unzip from the ISO. So we want to get started on those right away, certainly days before class begins. In that same section, there is another set of instructions on starting lab zero, which is something else that we ask that you do uh, before class. We'll have a separate video on going through lab zero. In the course handout section, this is very simple. Um, there are smaller PDFs that you can just click on and click on and download. And then the last section are the course books. Um, inside the course books, we have to take a separate step of acknowledging and signing the SANS license agreement for these course books, and we'll walk you through that too. So media files, just click the link. It's going to take you to an intermediate page um, on which you click download and save the file and let it start downloading. As I said, large file will take uh, likely some time to, uh, to download. Uh, when we move down to the course books, the first thing that we do is start off by clicking the sign license agreement link. That takes us to the license agreement, read it, scan down, check that your information is correct in the box, and then check I agree to the license agreement, um, type in your course password, and then submit. Now that we've agreed to the SANS license agreement and provided our SANS portal account password, we'll be tacking back to the downloads page. The course books section will now look different. In this top section, we will see the book password and click the show button to see this randomly generated key that will allow us access to the PDFs that we've downloaded. So we can copy the key, and assuming that we have already downloaded one of these or all of these PDFs, we can attempt to open that PDF. And opening the PDF, we'll be presented with a prompt for the password. If we paste in the password that we just copied from the previous screen, we can now open the PDF. Each time we open the PDF, we're gonna to have to provide that password. Also, if you will look closely, you'll see that within each page is a faint watermark showing our name and SANS portal account ID, um, also known as our email address. So don't share these files. They are watermarked in a way that will uniquely tie them to you. Enjoy having these PDFs. They are a huge help in being able to search for data rather than flipping through paper. So that's it for downloading your course materials.